How to make a light bulb from trash if the world is dead, the grid is gone, and the nights never end. The sun sets, the cities are black husks, the stars are smothered by fallout dust, and the dark? It's alive. You need light, not comfort light, survival light. Something to scare away teeth in the shadows or just let you see your own filthy hands. Start with a glass jar. Cracked is fine, filthy is perfect. Jam two nails through the lid, tape them down with whatever sticky corpse of duct tape you've got. Now rip a wire out of a busted headphones. The thinner, the weaker, the better. Stretch it between the nails inside the jar like a tiny metal noose. Hook up the nails to power. Car battery, rat battery, trash generator, doesn't matter. If it shocks you, it's enough. The wire will fight, heat up, and glow like it regrets every choice in life. Here's the ugly miracle, a filament. Electricity surges through a thin wire. The resistance makes it heat until it glows. Old school physics. Edison did it with labs, glass blowers, and money. You're doing it with trash, rust, and a prayer. Same result, light, or at least sparks shaped light hope. If it lights, congrats, you just fought back the dark. If it smokes, still congrats, that means electrons moved. If it shatters in your face, congrats twice, you just invented a glass grenade. At least the explosion will be visible. In the wasteland, survival isn't safe. It sparks, broken glass and science stitched together with fear. But hey, now you've got a light bulb.